welcome guys to yet another video in our angular series and in this part 5 of the video we are going to look into event binding which is transferring of data from your view template to the component now first let's look into the binding landscape that angular has to offer basically we can categorize binding in angular under two umbrellas which is one-way data binding or two-way data binding we already have seen one-way data binding which is from component to view in part 4 of our video where we discuss interpolation, property binding, style binding, attribute binding and etc. So if you want to watch that video please refer to part 4. Now in this video we are going to look into another type of one-way data binding which is from the view to the component side which is through the event binding. In our future video we will look into the two-way binding. So without wasting much of your time let's start and understand what is event binding. As we know in a web page all the interaction or action happens using the events that we define on that page like your mouse over, mouse up, submit, focus, click etc and etc. Now if you want to perform some operations based on these events then you need to call some method defined in the code behind which in our angular case is this component. So event binding in Angular helps you to connect the event raised from the HTML element to the definition defined within the component. So how do you define event binding? You do so by wrapping the event in question with the parenthesis. Now event binding syntax can be written in two ways. You can do by either wrapping the event in question with a parenthesis like over here in this button we have uh, surrounded the click event with the parenthesis and then we have called the method over here in the code behind or you can do by prefixing the dom event with the on and a hyphen sign so over here the click event has been prefixed with the on and a hyphen sign and the same method print name has been called both the operations have the same result so there is no difference between these two operations it all matters upon how you want to write it now let's see a demo in action on how we can use event binding in our Angular application. Now in this demo we are going to show or hide a div based on the click event of a button. Now let's see how we write this. We will create a button which will be of type button and then we will create a click event over here and in this click event we will name the method that we are going to call so say on my click and then in this thing we will write my toggle button now below this we are going to create a div with a style of with the style we will take the style from make it red and we will name it over here and then we will write a style binding syntax style dot visibility if you are new to style binding then i will highly recommend to watch my video on the style binding and how to use that so over here we will say style binding is equal to my toggle and based on the boolean value of this we will mark it as visible or we will mark it as hidden now this completes the div part as well this should be a class it should not be a style over here in this div let's write something welcome to the toggle div now what is going on over here this is a click event that we defined this is on the view template side and this will call a method which is on the uh, code behind which in our angular application is the component so over here we will define this method in that we will write a, uh, some syntax that will change or toggle the value of a variable which is called my toggle and based on the toggling of that variable the data will be passed from the component to the view side using the style binding syntax and it will change the visibility to visible or hidden let's go to the uh, component side first of all we will do is we will define the on my click or we will define the variable first let's say so if i define the variable which is this one and i will say boolean 
and initially I will mark it as true so it will be visible in the starting then we will define my method on my click which will be called every time you do a click on the page or the view page and this method will do nothing but to toggle the change the thing of this variable so again so it will just do a not of whatever the value currently is let's, let's run this now so we will go to view integrated terminal which is over here and we will say npm start so this will run the command ng serve hyphen o okay so now if you see we have this button over here by default it was turned to true so it is currently getting displayed now if you click on this button it will turn it to false so this is the click event so this is your page where normally all your actions will be performed so you may have a submit button over here uh, and that submit button may transfer data from your uh, page to the back end so that is one of the scenarios but over here what i am doing is i am passing i am in that method that if we have defined on this button we are turning the value to true or false and based on that this particular div is getting hidden or displayed if you see closely over here we didn't pass any information to that method the method was just called and it was doing some processing but that method didn't knew who has raised it which html element has raised it so in most of the cases you will find that you need to tell that method these informations like the source of the event the target element or the type of the event and etc and etc consider a scenario there is an input button and you want to type anything on the input and it gets displayed on the output of your page so how will you do that so to do that kind of a thing you need to send the information that you are typing on your input box to the method that is written in the component side for that case you need to pass on the event information or the event payload to the component side for doing that kind of thing what you do is under your method or inside your method you pass the dollar event or which is the basically the payload to the method that is on the component side we will see this with an example so let's again create a input element over here and then i will create a event which is key up for this event i will call a method let's define it any way you wanted uh, my payload under this method you need to pass the payload so to do that you will use a dollar event syntax then you close this off now once this is defined you need to define the value of this my payload under the component side so under the component side you define this my payload method now i have to capture that event payload that has been sent from there so for that i will do is i will capture it under event and i will store it can be of any type say any and then i will write whatever i want to write over here so the value of the input element i will be storing it under a variable so i will define that variable over here so let's say i have a variable called values okay so i can say there is a variable called values which can be of a uh, type string if you want now how do i get the value that people are typing on the input box so what i will do is i can get the information from the payload so what i will write is event dot target dot value so this will give me the information that i require now where i will store that value i can store that value in the variable that i just declared so i will say this dot values equals to or we can append it back we can keep appending the value so we'll say plus equals to and we will put a demarcator to identify like what was pressed at what time so this will be a kind of a demarcator to just you know differentiate between the different key up events that happen 
so now this way what will happen is it will keep, it will uh, the value from the payload will be extracted of whatever person has typed under that particular input control now how do i show that information so for that i can use just the interpolation and if you are uh, if you want to know more about interpolation you can visit my video on the interpolation so you, what you can do is you can just use this value to be displayed under over here now let's see and let's run this thing i can open the integrator in terminal window and i can say npm start so now in this input box which if i just expand a little so that you can see it clearly uh, if i type something over here like if i type a see that a after each key up event it is going to write it over here and then it will provide a hyphen sign plus it will append once i type another character it will append the existing one and then it will display it again with a hyphen uh, so it will keep on displaying like this as and when i keep on typing it so so if i remove it now one by one it will remove it as well so this is how the event binding you can pass the payload using the dollar event syntax thanks for watching this video please remember to subscribe our channel help me coder we want to reach the 10000 mark on our channel as soon as possible so we want your help to subscribe to our channel i hope you would have learned something from this video on the event binding and how do we pass the payload using the same. So once again, thanks for watching and happy coding.